Hello students, welcome to Math Made Easy. In the last lecture, we have started with 8th ICSC RS Agarwal, the first chapter rational numbers. We started with exercise 1A and we solved till question number 4. Let us take the exercise ahead students. So here is question number 4, second sum. And the question is 10 by 11 is the first rational number, 17 by 8 is the second rational number and we need to compare the two given rational numbers. So how to do it? In both the rational number, we want the denominator equal. So we'll observe the denominator here. Do we have the denominator equal? What is the denominator of the first rational number? It's 11. What is the denominator of the second rational number? It's eight. Are they equal? No, let us make them equal. So we are going to take the LCM of the denominators 11 and 8. And how to take the LCM? If you don't know, you have to check the previous video where I have taught you how to take the LCM of two numbers or two more than two numbers. So your LCM of 11 and 8 comes to 88. It's uh, we can also say that you can directly multiply it because 11 and 8 doesn't have any same common factor. So it is 88. Now, the first rational number, it's 10 by 11. We need to make the denominator as 88. So the denominator we require is 88. So we have to think 11 into what will give us 88. So it's 8. 11 into 8 is 88. The same number we have to multiply to the numerator as well. Now 10 into 8 is 80. So we got the new rational number. 10 by 11 can also be written as 80 by 88. The second rational number is 17 by 8. We need to make the denominator as 88. So we have to think 8 into which number will give us 88. So it's 11. Whatever we multiply to the denominator, the same should be multiplied to the numerator. So what is 17 into 11? So it is 187. So we have got two new rational numbers with the same denominator that is 80 by 88 and 187 by 88. So we are writing the two new numbers down and now we will look at the numerator here. So what are the first numerator students? So I'm writing here since the numerator, first numerator is 80 and the second numerator is 187. And we all know that 80 is less than 187. Now we'll put the same denominator. So therefore 80 by 88 is less than 187 by 88. But this is not a final answer because this is not the original fraction given in the given sum. So 80 by 88 is actually what number? It's 10 by 11. So we need to write that. So we are going to write below 80 by 88, its original fraction that is 10 by 11, less than sign as it is, 187 by 88, the original fraction is 17 by 8, and this is our final answer. So our final answer is therefore 10 by 11 is less than 17 by 8. Now we'll go to the next sum that is minus 5 by 12 and minus 3 by 4. Are the denominators same? So the answer is no. So we will make it same. Now you look at the denominator students. Now here what is the denominator 4 and here what is the denominator 12. Can we multiply anything to 4 and make the denominator as 12? Answer is yes. 4 into what is 12? 4 into 3 is 12. So here we'll just make the denominators equal. So let's go for it. So here minus 5 by 12, uh, we are not doing anything to it. Let us keep it as it is. Minus 3 by 4. Now here we are multiplying the denominator 4 with number three so that we get the same denominator that is 12. Whatever is multiplied to the denominator, the same should be multiplied to the numerator. So we get minus nine by 12. So the two new rational numbers here we now get is minus five by 12 and minus nine by 12. Both the denominators are same. So we'll compare the numerator. 
So now we are going to write since minus 5 and here is minus 9. Although 5 is less than 9, but here we have negative sign. So that means the relation is opposite here. So now which is the smaller number here? Minus 9 is the smaller number. So here we are going to write minus 9 is smaller and minus 5 is greater. Minus 5 is greater than minus 9. Now let us write the same thing with the denominator, the equal denominators. So next step we are going to write therefore minus 5 divided by 12 is greater than minus 9 divided by 12. Is it the original fraction? Oh, minus 5 by 12, it is the original fraction. But minus 9 by 12 is not. So the original fraction is minus 3 by 4. Our final answer. Therefore, minus 5 by 12 is greater than minus 3 by 4. We'll move on to the next sum, students. That is minus 7 by 24 and minus 20. Here we are going to take LCM. Why? Because if you multiply anything to the smaller, uh, smaller number, that is 20, minus 20. Uh, 20 multiplied by anything, we will not get 24. So here comes the LCM. So let us take the LCM of 20 and 24. We'll keep minus a side of 20. So LCM of both the denominators, LCM of 24 and 20 is, so let us take the LCM. But those who don't know how to take the LCM, they can have a look here in this sum two. We are starting with the uh, term two. So it is two twelves are two tens are. Again, divisible by two, two six are 12, two fives are 10. Again, divisible by 2, 2 3s are 6, 5 is not divisible, we'll write it as it is. Now, 3, 3 1s are 5 is not divisible, we'll write it as it is. Now, 5, 1 as it is down, 5 1s. The moment we get 1 1 down, our LCM procedure is over. Now, let us multiply these terms. So, it is 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 3s are 24 and 24 into 5, 24 into 5, it's 5 into 4, 20, 2 carry, 5 twos are 10, 11, 12. So the answer we get is 120. So what is the LCM here, students? The LCM is 120. So now let us continue the sum. So we, are, we have to make the denominator as 120. So let's do that. So minus 7 by 24. We will multiply something to 24 and make it as 120. So 24 into what is 120? We can find out by the LCM table that we have here. So it is 24. So let us take the factors of 24. 2, 2 is 4, 4, 2 is 8, 8, 3 is 24, and 24 into 5. So into 5, into 5. It gives us minus 35 by 120. Similarly, 9 by minus 20. So 9 by minus 20. This minus, we can shift it up to the numerator. And 20 into what will give us 120? 20 into what? So this is 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 5, that is 20. So what remains is 2 and 3, that gives 6. So here into 6, into 6. So minus 9 into 6 is minus 54. Now, let us move the sum further. We got two new rational numbers with the same denominator, 120. So the next step is we'll write those two new rational numbers with the same denominator. So here we are getting minus 35 by 120 and minus 54 by 120. So we'll compare the numerators now. So we are going to write here since... We'll write both the numerator, minus 35 and minus 54. Although 35 is smaller, but we have minus here on both the numbers. So minus 35 becomes bigger now. So minus 35 
is more than minus 54 here. So the next step here is, therefore, So here we are writing with the denominator minus 35 by 120 is greater than minus 54 by 120. Now we'll write the original fraction students minus 35 by 120 is actually minus 7 by 24 is greater than 9 by minus 20 sorry minus 54 by 120 is actually 9 by minus 20. In the final answer, we should always write the original fractions, original rational number, a final answer. Now, in the textbook, when you see the back answer students, the answer is wrong. They have given us that minus 7 by 24 is less than 9 by minus 20. But it's we, the answer given in the textbook is wrong. Minus 7 by 24 is greater than 9 by minus 20. The next question here is arrange the following rational numbers in ascending order. Now, this we are going to continue in the lecture three. That is the next video. Till here, if you have any doubt, you can write me and let me know students. Till then, happy learning.